Hello, Jay King with uh, MillionairePennyStocks.com. And today I just wanted to congratulate again uh, several students on the shorting of XLIT. Uh, many people are emailing me asking me about shorting stocks. And uh, understand something, guys. Uh, I've been doing this for 17 years. It's not something that, you know, I just woke up one morning and I decided to just uh, do. But uh, shorting stocks is one of the ways to become successful in the stock market. And many people have the wrong ideologies and the wrong philosophies as it relates to the market. Uh, you hear several people say, well, you can't short stocks under $3 or $2. And that's not true. That's because they don't have the insight and the knowledge on what brokers uh, to use. So I want to really encourage you to uh, visit our site, millionairepennystocks.com. And I short most of my stocks 75 to 80% of the time, depending on the opportunities. A lot of companies uh, that are low price or low price for a reason. They're not good companies to invest in. And uh, the price is reflective of uh, how well the company is doing. So a lot of times when a company is low price, a lot of times it's not really a company you want to invest in, but you want to trade. There's a difference in investing and there's a difference in trading. My whole psychology and uh, mentality as it relates to trading is to uh, benefit from daily and weekly chart patterns. And so I'm not trying to fall in love with a stock and learn about its financials and its balance sheets. And I don't look at many SEC filings every once in a while I do. But primarily when I get into trades like this, I already know that it's being promoted by an advertiser. If you look at the disclaimer, this advertiser is getting paid to promote um, this company. He's getting paid $100,000 to promote XYZ. And um, the company doesn't have the financials to, uh, to back it up. It doesn't really have a good core uh, 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 it doesn't have a good core foundation. You know, when you're looking at good companies, companies have to report good earnings. A lot of times they need to be um, trading on the NASDAQ or the Dow or the NYSE, the New York Stock Exchange, so they can fully disclose their financials. So a lot of these smaller companies that trade on the OTC uh, over the counter, a lot of them don't report financials. They're not really strong. So if you let all of the emotional hype run out once they're promoted, they're going to collapse eventually. And so we benefit from the collapse of several companies. This particular company, XLIT, was a pump and dump. What we mean by pump and dump is someone is promoting, they're pumping up the company with information, with hype information. And a lot of novice traders, they jump into these companies. They go from 18 cents to like 144. And so what we do is when they promote these uh, companies, we know that these companies are going to collapse. And so we short or we bet against several of these companies at 144. 135. See, most novice traders, they buy at uh, retail. They buy at retail. But what we do is we come in and we notice that uh, if we bet against this, then um, we're going to make money. And so we short this uh, because we know if we bet against it, then it's eventually going to collapse. And shorting stock is just simply the opposite of buying and selling. Shorting stock is when you simply you sell the stock or you sell shares that you don't own. So in other words, if this stock went up to 135, I would need a margin account with my broker and I would have to be with the right broker in order to short stock under $2. But um, you would short this stock at 135. Here's the actual graph. I don't know if you can see it, but you would short it, meaning you would sell shares that you don't own. Now watch this. When the stock collapse, when it collapses, you're going to have to pay that broker back because you're borrowing shares that you don't own. So you sold the shares at 135. Now watch this. If it goes all the way down, let's say to 95 cents, you almost have what a 40 cent spread. So you're going to have to cover. You see here where it says short and then it says cover. Shorting is when you sell shares that you don't own and you borrow from the broker and then you cover or buy back at a lower price. Now you pay the broker back his money plus the commission and then the difference in your spread is your return on your investment. So once I pay the broker back, let's say if I spend 4,000 on a trade and um, I short the stock and I spend 4,000, well, I'm gonna have to pay the broker back that $4,000 when I cover. But the difference in the spread is my return on my investment. So if I buy 10,000 shares or if I short 10,000 shares at uh, $4,000, then when I cover back at a lower price at 95 cents, then I'm going to pay him back the 4,000 and the 45 cents spread is $4,500 return for me. So I wanted to talk a little bit to you about shorting stocks. There's a lot of students that are still having questions about shorting because shorting is something that is totally different uh, from the traditional system of buying and selling stocks. And I'll talk about it a little bit more, but this is a good a way to benefit from um, learning 
a system that will make you successful. You're not trying to uh, you're not trying to get rich quick overnight when you're a trader, but you're learning the strategies that it takes to become successful. And remember, we focus on price action, momentum, volatility, and volume. And this is great price action. Look at this. This is going from 18 cents all the way up to 144. These are uh, your key levels of resistance in the past couple of weeks. And so uh, the key levels of resistance, like I said, this stock uh, right here for the past couple of days could not break 108 or 109. And uh, we shorted around 108, 107, and we covered uh, at a lower price. And I'm just so excited that many of my students are starting to learn the value of shorting stocks. Remember, shorting stocks is when you're betting against the stock. You're predicting based on chart, chart patterns, based on looking at daily uh, patterns that this stock is going to collapse. Now, this is my level two chart. These are candlesticks. And uh, when you're looking at a candlestick chart on a level two chart, when it signifies, when you see a lot of red, that just signifies um, a lot of people are selling. They're selling or they're shorting. But when you see green, this uh, identifies, this candle uh, chart identifies there's a lot of buys. But right here, you can see the key levels of resistance where this stock can't break 108. And now we see where the stock begins to collapse. Right here, you see the red candlesticks. And uh, this signifies that um, this particular stock uh, is now people are selling shares. And um, this is a wonderful way to make money because a lot of people don't know how to short. A lot of people don't know how to short. The only thing they know how to do is buy. So you have an advantage if you're a short seller. If you know how to short stock, you don't only know how to benefit uh, from the stock when it's going up, but you know how to benefit uh, from the stock when it starts to collapse and go down. So it's really good to add this knowledge and information to your portfolio because when you add this information and knowledge of shorting stocks to you what happens is you're leaving uh, less money on the table a lot of times people leave too much money on the table because they only know how to benefit from stock when it is going up but this is a great advantage this is what helped me become successful as a day trader when i learned how to bet against stock when stock loses its momentum and when stock is overpriced a lot of times you'll find that uh, some stocks are overpriced, especially penny stocks. Uh, they only are overpriced because people are over promoting. They're promoting these companies and these companies really don't have the foundation of what they need to be to be a successful company. They don't have the financials. They don't have the, the leadership. They don't have a, a strong product or a service that they're they're pushing. And so if you are patient enough, you can uh, you can short this stock when it begins to lose uh, the momentum, lose the promotion, and the company collapses anywhere from 100 to 300 percent. And these are patterns that happen every week. And I'm training several of my students to recognize some of these patterns uh, that they can benefit from. So again, congrats on the XLIT shorting. Uh, several of my students, Bank Greg, he's uh, one of my top students. He took 3,000 and turned it into 18,000 in less than a year. And all he does is short stock. He, he's pretty much focused on shorting. And um, today I think he made about 1400 on this trade. And so um, I'm just glad to see that I'm changing lives and I'm teaching some of these principles that took me a while to learn. You know, I learned a lot, you know, in the beginning when I started trading 17 years ago, I didn't even know how to short stock. And so it's just a benefit to see people taking the knowledge and the information and learning it. This is, this is information that you can pass to your children and uh, to your children's children and to generations. And um, this is knowledge that really will help you out. Remember, everyone is not gonna be, you know, a full-time trader or even a part-time trader, but this is still good information that you can take and use. And a lot of these trades, guys, you know, you can benefit from these trades doing it part-time. You can make one or two trades a month. You don't have to immerse, submerge yourself into the world of stocks. You know, a lot of times I'm in and out of the market sometimes I make man two or three thousand dollars in ten minutes because of uh, getting good entry points. Like on this particular trade, uh, I shorted this days ago, and now I'm just covering, and um, I made two thousand and eighty dollars in less than fifteen minutes when the market opened. And uh, another trade we made today, I believe it was ZNGA, and uh, this particular stock um, it had bottomed, and um, I alerted several of my students. At, um, I believe it was around 216, 220, somewhere around there, um, a couple of days ago. But the other day, well, which is today, I'm sorry. Today, I bought, uh, I bought at 216 the other day, and I sold a little bit too early. But then I rebought today at around 226, around 226, and this broke out to about 234. I just bought 2,500 shares, 
and uh, this was a nice little breakout. Here's the NGA. Uh, this is uh, a company that uh, is reporting uh, some pretty good earnings. I think they're getting ready to sell the company and um, they have uh, several employees. This is like a billion dollar company and uh, sometimes you'll find billion dollar companies that have, that have cheap stock prices and um, sometimes you can get in and you can make a 10, 15, 20 cents uh, uh, upside on some of these companies that you know, are reporting earnings. But if you look at the candle chart, uh, this company, I'm right around in here, dollar eighty-two, uh, between two dollars. These are some good areas to buy. And we see all the green candle uh, sticks. You start to see this company start to go up. So I looked at this chart and I saw the dip. And so uh, this is a pretty good uh, buy around between two seventeen and uh, uh, two twenty. And then I saw the breakout today. Uh, actually, the breakout today went from 225 to 234. So that was a nice little breakout. But again, I wanted to show you this uh, video lesson primarily to let you know that you can buy and sell stock and you can short and cover. And this is a good way to get started. Most people know what it means to buy and sell. But uh, a lot of my students, they have a lot of questions about shorting stock. And like I said, again, shorting stock is one of the most valuable lessons that you will ever learn in the market. You know, to me, uh, based on my uh, experience in the market, a lot of times being in a bearish market, bearish just simply means when stocks are declining. A bullish market means when stocks are rising. But we really are in a bearish market right now, and the market is really starting to neutralize itself. It's starting to level itself and balance itself off. But there's still a lot of stocks that are very bearish, and they're declining in price. And so when, you, when you're in a bearish market, you need to understand strategies that will make you successful and that will make you capitalize in the market. One of the strategies that will help you in uh, learning how to make money is short selling or shorting stock. And again, like I said, that's when you learn to bet against the stock. You feel that the stock is going to decline in price. And as it declines in price, uh, you short it and then you cover at a lower price. Remember when you short stock, you're going to need a margin account uh, with your broker. And a margin account is kind of like having a line of credit. If you put in $2,000, then they will let you leverage $2,000. So you have $4,000 to leverage. They'll let you usually leverage 100%. Other brokers may let you leverage a little bit more, two to 300%. And you don't want to get too much into using your margin. But uh, I would use my margin to short stock and to just basically only short basically stock based on the cash that you have in your account. So if, you're, if you have $2,000, uh, in your account, I wouldn't try to short stock over 2,000. I would stay right at that level of 2,000, anywhere from one to 2,000, or if you have a $3,000 account, then uh, stay at that level of a shorting stock. Don't get over into using you know, too much leverage and too much of your margin, but uh, stay leveled at where your cash is. So if you only have 3,000, then I would only use anywhere from maybe 20 to 30% of my account to trade with so I could protect my principal. And we try to give people advice about protecting your principal, minimizing your loss, minimizing your risk. This is real important in the world of day trading. But remember, next level thinking requires this. You have to learn the importance of short selling. Shorting stock will put you in a world that you never knew existed. I mean, man, today, XLIT, I just love it. And uh, this stock collapsed. I mean, it really collapsed. And you can see here, uh, a weeks ago, it was at a dollar forty-four, and if you look at these little tips right here, this is just the key levels of resistance, and we identify those key levels of resistance. If you look right here, the key levels of resistance for this daily and a weekly um, stock XLIT is at a dollar oh eight. It could not break past a dollar eight for the past week or two, and so there was a lot of uh, professional and master traders that shorted at one oh eight, one oh seven. I think it went up to 109 one day. Uh, my mentor, he shorted 40,000 shares. I shorted 16,000. We had several other uh, master traders that uh, shorted. I know one uh, multi-millionaire trader shorted 100,000 shares. And so, you know, guys, this, this stuff is, uh, this stuff is uh, something you can learn. You know, and we all start off uh, on equal planes in life. And um, you gotta understand, we all have fingers, we all have uh, noses, we have toes, we all have brains. But the only thing that separates a successful person from a person that's not successful is the way you think. And so your thinking is crucial uh, to becoming successful. It's all about your belief system. It's all about how you think. 
And um, I understand this. I understand that you can be successful in anything you put your mind to. You don't have to just be successful in the stock market. There's other systems that uh, allow you to be successful. Now, look at this. I want you to see this is even collapsing even lower than uh, 80 cents. Now it's in the 70 cents range. And so you see if you would have been patient. I mean, you could have just been riding this thing all the way down. I'm sure it's probably going to collapse to probably 60 cents to 50 cents. And so these are some easy trades that you can make. I'm just showing you that uh, shorting stock is the route to go. And I love teaching my students how to short stock. And um, you need to subscribe to MillionairePennyStocks.com because we're identifying a lot of companies that are pump and dumps. And that's what we do. We let the paid advertisers pump these companies up. And then once they pump them up, once they lose their momentum and they lose their energy, they lose their price action, then we dump. We dump them. And so this is Jay King again with uh, MillionairePennyStocks.com. Uh, please share my video. Please like it. And uh, we're trying to get the word out more and more about MillionairePennyStocks.com because we're helping people and we're teaching them how to become self-sufficient in the stock market. Have a great day.